Don't worry about the Constitution on this, to be honest. I don't care. That's my well, that's right. that jackpot, brother. Oh, keep, please. Keep what going. I care more about, I care more about the people that are dying every day that don't have health care. You care more about that than the U.S. Constitution that, that you says, swore to uphold. I believe that it says we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay. Like, tell me. Of independence. The pursuit of happiness. It doesn't matter to me. Well, either one. We know it doesn't. It clearly doesn't well, matter to you. Life. It's so clear that it doesn't matter to you. It's okay. unbelievably clear. You wouldn't know what matters to me. You wouldn't know it's unbelievably clear that the Constitution doesn't matter to you, sir. Oh, you just well, said it two I'm seconds ago. You're going to ask me. Well, ask me the. Well, what's the question again? If, if, Where in the Constitution me? does it give you know. the authority to? I don't know. That's I what I thought. Okay. All right, you heard that. Uh, Democratic Congressman Phil Harris saying, I don't worry about the Constitution. The Congress are not available to come on, though we did try. The guy asking the tough questions here, Adam Sharp, joining us right now. Adam is a member of the St. Louis Tea Party. And uh, Adam, uh, I think 60 Minutes wants to call you after this. But uh, what did you make of that reaction, Adam, that you got? Uh, I thought it was... Uh I thought it was typical because we all knew that these guys that voted for this bill don't really care about the Constitution, but I was really surprised that he actually said it. But when you, when you asked him to repeat it and emphasize it and maybe to clarify it, um, he, came, he essentially said, look, I care for my uh, people living and dying or something like that more than that. What did you make of that response? It, may, it, it kind of made me angry, uh, as you can hear in my voice, where I said, you care about, more, you care about that more than, than the Constitution that you swore to uphold. I mean, uh, they have 18 enumerated powers, and last I checked, health care wasn't one of them, and I don't care what, uh, what they think their responsibility is. It's not their place to mandate that I purchase health care if I don't want to. All right. Now, he could have said, uh, as others have said, uh, who've had more time to think about this, that what they're doing isn't unconstitutional. You know, a lot of the Democrats who voted for this, and the only Democrats did, as you know, no Republican in the House or Senate did, they claim that uh, the Constitution is, is not an issue here because they're not violating anything here. Obviously, you don't agree with that. Jackpot, brother. Well, the, uh, the Commerce Clause is what they usually use as an excuse, but, uh, you know, numerous legal minds, including Fox's own Andrew Napolitano, have said that the, the Commerce Clause does not apply here, and the way they're using it is, a, is an abuse of the Commerce Clause, and it's never been used in this way. This is, uh, they didn't listen to their constituents uh, beforehand, and they just decided that, to, that they were going to vote on yeah. something that is against the will of the people. And, and we're going to stand up and say that that's not cool. Adam, how many people were in that room when you were asking these questions? The chairs behind him and around him seem empty. How many people were in there? Uh, right about 100. I counted beforehand, I counted 100 chairs. So when you're questioning him, there were 100 people there? Uh, well, during the town hall, he came in and um, he came in and he gave a brief statement and he talked about donut holes and, and $250 checks and, and things that, uh, you know, the government was going to give away. And then he took questions and, and uh, there were about 100 people there. But at the end, when he got frustrated, see, I asked him this constitutional question numerous times throughout this town hall and he danced around it. Well, he when he danced answer. around it, what did he say when, before you were drilling him one on one there? What was he saying? Uh, he would say uh, he would never give me a, any portion of the Constitution that supported his, his claim, and he would always just say, I believe that we have a responsibility to provide health care. And he kept saying life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which last I checked was the Declaration of Independence and not the Constitution. So, you know, when a, a regular guy like myself, I'm a blue-collar guy, Neil, I, uh, <laughs> I rearranged my work schedule actually to be here today. Uh, no, we're I, glad uh, you did. We're glad you did. Well, are you going to do this no again, problem. Adam? I, I mean, if there are other cars, are you going to follow them around? I mean, you, you might have a career yeah, here just following I, these dudes. I, uh, I have a blog that I, I, last April 15th, with the new Tea Party uh, thing, it really, it really uh, kicked me into high gear as far as uh, political activism, and I picked All up right. a video camera, and I decided these guys that are, that are, are tearing our Constitution up and not listening to the will of the people, I'm going to hold their feet to the fire. Uh, I, I like to quote uh, Glenn Reynolds' uh, Insta Pundit. You probably know him. Sure. Uh, we're a, we are an army of Davids. And our video cameras are our slings, and we're, we're going to hold their feet to the fire. This is uh, it's not acceptable. All right. Well, you're off the congressman's Christmas party uh, guest list, but I guess you don't care. Uh, Adam Sharp, I very, don't. very good seeing you. Interesting stuff. Thank you, Neil.